And here we go. And just sprinkle that on. Give it a mix. Hello, this is Tasty Eats by Tess. And today we're going to be making Polish dill pickle soup. We just start out here. Um, I have just a chicken frame. So I'm just gonna boil that down um, probably for about one and a half hours or so to extract all the flavor. And once it comes to a boil, you'll notice this sort of like a scummy film that goes on the top here. And it's just coming from those bones, so you can remove that. We want it to be a little clearer. So just take all of that off of here, as much as we can. Perfect. So after you've removed everything, uh, all of the uh, top of the sort of the scummy sort of stuff on the top of the soup, we'll just peel. This is parsnip, a carrot. We just chop it like that. A leek, all been washed, and a stalk of celery. We're just going to add that to the soup now. So I see there's a little more development on the top of our uh, stock here. So we'll just take that off of here. And at this point, I think it will be good to go with that. And we'll just add our vegetables in there. So the stock is perfect. So we'll put the leek in, the celery. It's one large carrot and one parsnip. There we go, we'll let that go for a while here. So I have some uh, full soured pickles here. This is by Strubs. So it's in the brine. The brine uh, has no vinegar in there at all. This is all natural. We'll go ahead with this, and I have here as well six pickles. And we'll just go ahead and grate that up here. Including the skin. We'll just go ahead here and chop up, on a rough chop, one medium sized onion. And we'll, I'm throwing this in with the pickle. Some people may do it differently, but this is how I like to do it. There we go. And we'll just add that in. Perfect. Fry your uh, dill pickle and your onion in two tablespoons of butter. Just until softened a little. This is where I like to add my flour at this point. It'll be about two tablespoons. This just helps so it doesn't um, get all lumpy in there. You have a nice smooth sauce. That's why I choose to put it here. And let it cook for a couple seconds here. At this point, you want to try and get your chicken carcass to go right down on into that pot. And continue to cook. Looks divine. Let's keep going with this. Probably another hour. This is where I like to add one third of a cup of sour cream. And we'll just mix that in. I've turned the heat off. One bay leaf is going in as well. I will season with salt here at this point. It's probably about a teaspoon. You don't want to over salt. You can always add. To my dill pickle and onion mixture here, I like to add 
a bit of garlic powder to that and just let it sit it's probably about a half a teaspoon and a little bit of onion powder as well about a half a teaspoon we'll let that cook for a minute here is where I'll take out just my carrots it's actually just one carrot but I have that and we'll keep that for later all I want to do here is fish out the majority of this that'll be the chicken carcass and the vegetables just to make it easier to strain it later Go. So just fish most of it out. And we'll go ahead and we'll pour the juice through. There we go. Now we'll go ahead and pour that back into the smaller pot. We can add our dill mixture in here now. In the end, we'll be adding some extra chicken broth to this. We want to get all of that out of there. We can grate up that carrot now. And because it's already cooked, we'll just add that right at the end. I will add two cups of diced potato to this. into little bite-sized pieces. I removed all the chicken from the bones and we'll just chop that up just a little bit. It's already quite fine and we'll just add that to our soup. Now that the potatoes are boiled in there we'll add our carrots and our chicken. This is our last bit that we have to do here and by the way you can just use already prepared chicken broth and just do the other steps. Now it looks nice and thick. We'll have to give that a try and make sure that it is seasoned well and that it's a little bit sour. If it's not sour enough we can add a bit of the pickle juice. Let's see how it goes. Just the juice Taste that. We'll just go ahead and chop up some fresh dill. This is from my hydroponics that I have. Can't be fresher than that. So we just chop that up just roughly. It does not have to be super fine. And that would be, I would say, about a quarter of a cup, maybe a little more. You be the judge. On how much you would like. And here we go. And just sprinkle that on. Give it a mix and we'll see how that looks. Beautiful. 